Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above. Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. Unless you've taught our chocobos how to fly, I won't be scouting this one for you, Clive. You're on your own, but not alone. Always one more job to do, isn't there, Clive? There is. 
much to consider. Believe me, Clive, I would fly with you to origin, nay, to the end of the world, if I could. Alas, my fear of heights prevents me. You look like you could do with a drink. That's what we like to hear. Knock them back, everyone. Sid's buying. Don't be a stranger, Sid. I was wondering when next you'd visit. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Did you learn everything you needed? Say what you will. says your books made quite an impression on me when you return. Would you mind teaching the children another lesson? They did so enjoy your last. We'll need to find some more parchments then. Has Mitterdahl mentioned a new project yet? Not exactly. You know I'd give anything to follow you up there to that crystal. Give me a few more years and I might even be able to take you there myself. Until the skies have cleared, more and more will fall to its curse. I will do what I can, but... Take as long as you need, Clive. Just don't take too long, eh? Twin sides hundreds of leagues away. What will it be today? How may I help you today? One must understand one's place in the world. There's something about it. I feel like it's... Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all, 
Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit, your brother mentioned that some few of the dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Clive? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Take as much time as you need, brother. Something tells me Ultima will wait. Say your farewells, and let us be gone.
come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Do you have a moment? Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The piece she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. White is the color of faith. Faith in your friends, your family, your purpose. Unblemished, unfeigned. Just like my faith in you. Our faith. May it ever steer us true. And may it ever bring you back to me. I will always, always be here. Thank you, Jill. It's not time yet, is it? Somewhere in the back of my mind. I know. Thank you. And so for now... I'm always with you, Clive. didn't falter. No. Though I continue to be bewildered by fate, that I should meet with my old tutor here, at the very end of the world, I thank you, with all my heart, for giving me this chance. And I thank you for taking it. I should like to look upon that flower once more. When I am worthy. I stand ready to leave for Origin at your word. May Grieger go with us. And see us safely home. Courage, Ifrit. My decision is made. You said it yourself. He must be stopped. He must.
Alas. And yet... <laughs> I await your word. Time to take a step back. But if it weren't for Sid, I know you'll do right by us, Clive. Ah, oh, you all right? About that. Oi! <laughs> Let's see. for yourself. You better bloody I do and all. Drag live. Feeling ill? And no sooner have your wounds mended. <sighs> While I may not have Gav's nose. That's what I'm worried about. What I truly like. But teach her medicine. Take care. Is there aught I might assist you with? My lord. I am. I do not doubt it. Thank you, Yote. May you return safely. Have care, my lord. Thank you, my lord, for taking me in. Everyone here has been so kind. It reminds me of home. <laughs> 